Hi everyone, it's Robin. I have a Wild Orchid Crafts YouTube design team Wild Bunch project to share with you today. And I seem to be on a little bit of a baby kick, baby projects. And that is because uh, somebody at our church just had a baby. And so I'm um, getting some things around for them. And so I thought I'd just go ahead and share it with you. What this is, and my lighting is just atrocious today. I've tried so many different things with my lighting and it's just not helping. So <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just going to be one of those dark videos, I think. Um, usually I try to zoom in a little bit so that um, it overcasts any shadows, if that makes sense. But today is just, I don't see anything helping. Uh, but anyway, uh, before my camera battery dies, what I have is, um, this is, I'll share this with you or explain about this after I share with you what this is. And so what I've done, let me go ahead and give you the, the view of it. Boy, maybe my ot light bulbs are going out. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Cause I have two ot lights and you just wouldn't know it because of the shadows. But, um, Anyway, sidetracked again, but what I have done is created this box card, but what I put inside of it are photos, so it's kind of like a mini album-ish kind of thing, or just a display. So uh, basically what I did, I took some pink, uh, pretty in pink Stampin' Up! textured cardstock to create the base, and the tutorial that I used was Tracy. I'll link that down below so that you can have a look at that. It was a lot of fun. Um, so that's the base, and then I added Webster's Pages to it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't really have any baby girl papers, and so um, I think I just have the uh, Echo Park Little Girl one, and that was really bright. I wanted some really soft colors, so uh, that's what I did. And added some Guy Pierre Lace. Uh, this is a Tim Holtz um, die cut from his labels. Rub on here. And then this I created using my Gypsy and my Cricut. This is the uh, Once Upon a Princess cartridge, and I cut this at one inches after I welded it. This is some Cameo Beige seam binding from Wilder Crafts I used here, here, and then on the inside. And the products that I've used, I'll just go over that really quick, is Natural Skeleton Leaves, the 2-inch uh, Rose Leaves, 40 millimeter Trellis Rose that I've added, some Crystal Stickles to that. 225 millimeter open roses in the two tone and then the cream and then this is a tea rose that came from a multi pack. I have some hip rose buds here and then some five millimeter uh, closed rose buds as well as some four millimeter in the yellow closed rose buds. Uh, this is a 15 millimeter open rose in aqua and then I have some glass pro beads throughout here that I've hot glued in and then also this uh, acrylic beads. Uh, I don't know, strand <laughs> that I've put in here. And then um, this is, you can't really see the other one, but that's just a die cut, uh, some leaves from this paper. And so this is just Martha Stewart butterfly punches, and I've added stickles to that, and then some uh, pearls. It measures one inch here, and then, I don't know if I measured this. Um, you know, I did for the tutorial, but let me see, or when I was doing the tutorial. It measures seven and a quarter inches by five and a half, and so let me go ahead and show you the inside. I'm looking at my battery and it's looking really low. So basically what I did, and I do have the pictures covered in here because I didn't ask the family if I could share. So um, I'm sorry if that's a distraction to you. But I just made a little photo display here, a 35 millimeter trellis rose and some more of those tea roses and the rosebuds. And I will have all of the product codes down below. So um, if I'm going really fast, just go ahead and check that out and that will maybe answer some questions. Um, some of the uh, satin butterflies from Wild Orchid Crafts. Um, what I started off with on the base was just butterfly trim. I added it here and here, but then I thought I wanted a little bit more foo foo. So I went ahead and added this box pleat trim with the organza uh, at the bottom and then added some flat back pearls to that. And I printed these, all of the pictures off, this one and then the other ones you'll see, using my Canon selfie printer using the wallet size photo feature. This one I just made black and white. And then um, I used some of the scrap from the card base and then made a little photo mat. Did some Martha Stewart punch, I'm not sure the name of it, the corner punch. And then inked everything, everything that you see that's inked up pink is the pink pirouette stamping up ink. So that's this. And these are just rub-ons from Stampin' Up! They are retired. And then I have a two-inch lace there. 
So this is the actual box card and you can see it's a lot of fun. You can do so many different things with it. Um, but I've just added a little quad photo pull out thing. Um, added some hip rosebuds along the side here, intertwined in some leaf trim that I had, and then rub on that I had adhered to the ivory cardstock, and then popped that up on the, some dimensionals. So around here, back back up, <laughs> I've um, the last layer. I went ahead and used the eyelet border punch here before I adhered it all together. Added some more of the butterflies and some trim and these cute little bows. I'll have that linked down below, or actually the product code down below. Uh, those are from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then for this, this is the other place that I use the Cameo Beige Seam Binding. I just tied a bow, but then to make it easier for the mom, what I did was I snipped it and then added a tiny little Velcro dot so that all she needs to do is just pull it. <laughs> and then it comes out. It has six photos here. This is the one of the mom and baby, the baby, and then um, the baby with each of the family members. So that is how that works. So it's really cute and then it just, um, it just like I said, just something really simple. Um, she's not into paper crafting yet, but she's very interested in it. So when she gets some time, um, I'm going to help her get started with that if she'd like. And this was just a sticker that I've had in my stash for such a long time. So that is the actual box card. Here's the back. I just stamped or punched out a Martha Stewart butterfly punch and then had that sitting there like that. And then here's the actual box. It was constructed using a cereal box. What I could have done had I known how it was going to turn out was just slice off some of the box and then I used um, a half a circle traced and then cut that out with my X-Acto knife. But I thought that I was going to. My original idea was to create a little um, box for it, like a, with a lid and everything. Um, but by the time I just used cereal box, at the time I cut it out and measured and everything, I didn't have enough for the walls to be about two inches high, which I needed to accommodate for the dimension of the flowers. So I ended up just making a sleeve constructed that and, and adhered that all together and then I uh, painted the this is actually the inside of the box and then of course this is the outside which was craft or natural colored I painted that with Martha Stewart paint in a satin finish using uh, pink carnation uh, was the color and then I used a pearl dabber all around here and it was just a lot of fun <laughs> but like I said, had I known I wasn't going to get the, you know, box with the lid and the, the base and, you know, the walls, I could have just taken a cereal box and cut, you know, because it would have saved me the construction of it and um, I could have just, well, it just would have been different, a lot easier. So if you do make one of these, keep that in mind with, um, you know, what I did wrong. I added lace all around the edges here and then some of the rosette trim that I've had in my stash for probably about a year and a half so I use that little by little and I enjoy doing that. Um, these flowers are all pretty much the same flowers that I used in the box card. Same exact thing. Oh, oh I forgot to mention I added crystal stickles. I think I forgot to mention that. But to the tops of all these I just dabbed them with the pearl dabber and they just look so so pretty. I'm not thinking it's picking up in the display here on my camera so probably won't maybe uh, you won't be able to see that but it just looks really pretty to me um, you know just with the flowers and then just the hint of the pearl and so this is the flower cluster 40 millimeter trellis rose 235 millimeter 20 millimeter or 25 millimeter open roses tea roses uh, 15 millimeter aqua open rose here and then just some closed rose buds glass pearl beads same down here and then this is the large silver filigree corner and the small silver filigree corner, both from Wild Orchid Crafts. And then this was just a rub-on. I got a pack of rub-ons in a card making and paper craft magazine a long time ago, at least a year and a half ago. And I don't really, I haven't made a lot of baby projects, so I hadn't used them. So this worked out well. It was a circle one. I didn't have a punch to match. It was like a one and five eighths inch. So I just used one of my nesties cut that out and had to do a little bit of trimming around there and then I tri um, I also cut out a white uh, scallop uh, layer for underneath that and then pop both of those up on dimensionals. So the paper, uh, again this is Webster's Pages, it's supposed to say princess but when I added the flowers I covered up the P. So, but I think there's enough to look at that maybe 
nobody would even bother reading the word princess. I just really wanted a presentation box for her. So I didn't tie this back up. But So this is what this the box looks like. And then the back, I just added my information. This was already in the paper there. And so I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this. I know I went through it super, super fast. But if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to ask. I'm always happy to um, answer any questions that you may have. And if it's a product-related question, um, especially Wild Orchid Crafts, I will have the product codes down below. And then the Webster's pages are just random. I don't, I don't even know what collections they were. Uh, of course, this was the Tim Holtz Labels Dye Rub-On. Um, then this, I told you what that was. Martha Stewart punches. So I think that's pretty much it. But again, if you have any questions, just holler and I will be happy to answer. And if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and like it down below. I always appreciate that. And thank you so much for all your comments. They are an encouragement. And I do read every single one of them and they really just brighten my day. You guys, especially those of you that do videos, you know what that's like to, to see in your inbox that you have comments and you just get so encouraged by that because of the time that it takes to um, make a video and edit and upload it and it's just such a wonderful community and I love sharing but it's always just such an added bonus when you take time to leave a comment and so thank you so much for that and thank you for your friendship and I appreciate you all very very much and I hope you have a great day bye bye